Well, brothers and sisters, welcome to part 6 of the funny religious history of West Europe. Dominique, nique, nique, s'en allait tout simplement Au Dieu, pauvre et chantant En tout chemin, en tout lieu, il ne parle que du bon Dieu Il ne parle que du bon Dieu Inheritance. Yes, the problem is not only between Sunnit and Shiit, but also between all Muslims, Jews and Christians. The Muslims don't like that much that Christians don't worship only the one and only God Allah, like it's ordered in the Quran, but worship this combination between God Father, Son and Holy Ghost. So that God has a bodily son who's running with slippers and long hairs like a hippie on earth, that's absolutely not of the Muslim's taste. Then Mary, virtually a female goddess in the heaven. This is not foreseen in the Quran. For the Muslim, we are all doing pagan. Purely seen in religious history, the Muslim is right. Yes, we were pagans and we like keep it as before with our Germanic gods, even with our Christianity. So therefore, the Muslim believes that we are impure, the non-believers, and that we all going to hell. Well, that's not a problem, it's fine to have a place where we can meet all together, because with all these rules, who do you think really goes to heaven? What is now the fundamental problem of Judaism, Islam and Christianity? The problem is that those three religions from the desert are so closely related. In principle, those are only sects and cults from the same family. Christianity was in the beginning a small Jewish sect, became bigger, split first like all sects does, between pagan Christians and Jewish Christians, then Roman Catholic, Orthodox, then Lutheran, then Calvinistic and so on, more and more splits. Islam is also such a split. They took over the Old Testament, even Jesus is in the Quran, but has been degraded from God's son to a simple prophet. So you see, they are all related, they are all a big family. And family is always a problem. First, there is harmony, having coffee with parents, visiting uncles and aunt, enjoying family gatherings, and everything is fine. Until the day the parents die, and the last will is opened. This day, it's like a declaration of war. How does this come? At a succession, it's not about money. It's not about those $20,000 the brother received several years ago and haven't been considered in the testament. No! In inheritance, it's always about curse and blessing from the ancestors. We all want our parents to love us. But if the brother receive $20,000 more, this means automatically, automatically that the ancestors loved him for this amount more than they loved you. This happens in your subconscious. You can't avoid such feelings. This hurts you until your lives end. Because in ancient times, we had our ancestors' cult, and we believed and worshipped our ancestors. 
This is still a problem for us today. And in religion, this is absolutely the same. It's still ancestor worshipping. Up there, everything is family. Godfather, son, holy mother, and family, and Father Abraham. Yes, he also. He is the male factor. We are the three Abrahamic religions, Judaism, Islam and Christianity. We are one family fighting for the heritage of Abraham. Yeah, this will be our subject for the next part. For today, Tell your friends about this serial and my channel if you like it. If not, keep it for yourself. What can I say? Caress you and thank you very much.